Thank you, Sudhir, for nice introduction. Thank you, Viraj. <coughs> yes, I'll be limited to tips and tricks and take in hard cut, right? So before uh, uh, this, we must learn use of UTATA. In hard cataracts, use of UTATA forceps is very important because in uh, intumescent cataracts, in hypermature Morganian cataracts, it is very difficult to use needle and get the right rexis. So what is the use of UTATA forceps? Here, you must lift the anterior lip of the main incision that is, um, use, use the anterior leaf, tend the anterior leaf, use it as fulcrum. And keeping it lifted up, you just move the iterator. This is the trick. Don't depress the posterior leaf. See, if you depress the posterior leaf, what happens? This viscoelastic substance will come out. Okay, when you are learning, if it comes out, come out, inject some more viscoelastic substance, train your subconscious mind to keep the anterior leaf lifted up. So if you do this, you will learn use of uterator very well and you will manage heart, uh, the, this intumescent cataracts and uh, hypermature Morganian cataracts where use of needle is, you don't have much command on the anterior capsule with needles in those cases. So uh, just use in inject viscoelastic uh, uh, substance Keep the anterior leaf lifted up and go around. And if you write the letter O in anti-clockwise way, your natural hand movement is anti-clockwise. If you write it in clockwise way, your natural hand movement is clockwise. So do, do the rexis in that way. And now we come to intumescent cataracts. The main thing is this cataracts can be soft, can be hard. The main thing is rexis. See what happens. As you make a puncture, there is leakage of oily fluid or turbid fluid. And just convert this puncture into a C flap first, then use the uterata forceps and make a small flap. See here it tends to go to periphery. But since you have aimed a small rexis, you have enough margin of safety. And you can bring it back and do a small rexis. And in these cases, I always use hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and nothing else. And uh, next step is reduce the intralenticular pressure. How to do that? This is very simple. Some aspirate, some cortical matter with either Simco cannula or bimanual irrigation aspiration. As you remove some cortical matter, what happens? The intralenticular pressure reduces drastically and the cataract behaves totally differently. So always do this. Make a small rexis, reduce the intralenticular pressure. See here, in this area, this there is still some elevation. Uh, beginners can do some more aspiration and make it flat, and then you can uh, enlarge this rexis. Now, how to enlarge? It is very simple. Inject viscoelastic substance, take a vana scissor, and make a small cut somewhere where you are comfortable. I make the cut at around 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock and use iterate again and enlarge the rexis. This time the capsule behaves totally differently. It doesn't tend to go to periphery. So this is the trick. Always in intumescent cataracts, aim a small rexis first, reduce the intralenticular pressure and then enlarge the rexis. And now, if it is a hypermature Morganian cataract, what will you do? See what happens if you just touch the capsule. Can you see some wrinkling and wavy uh, things on the uh, anterior capsule? 
if it happens, always be sure that there is weak genual. And in such cases, always use a capsular tension ring before nucleus management. And in such cases, you don't have to do, when there is milky fluid comes out, you don't have to make a small excess. You can aspirate milky fluid through that puncture itself. It doesn't extend. And after making this adequate sized rexis, this is how you place the CTR. See here, this is another trick. How to place the CTR, how to place it under the anterior capsular margin. Use a Sinsky hook through the side port. Place the Sinsky hook over the, anterior, over the CTR and place the end of the Sinsky hook under the anterior capsular margin and then push it. And then your CTR has no other way, no other option, but to go under the anterior capsular margin. So take this trick. And now, when you are sure that it has gone under the anterior capsular margin, introduce the CTR and how to place the trailing end under the anterior capsular margin. Here it is. Take a Macpherson's, hold very close to the eyelet, trailing eyelet, introduce it up. inside the, just 30 seconds. We have few more speakers, so just let okay. us. And now, just go through the side port. And don't release it now. Introduce a chopper through the main incision. And before releasing it, introduce the chopper, place it over, the, over this area, and just it goes under the entry caps. Thank you very much.